Hey cooking friends, welcome back to Cooking with Shotgun Red. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Sheila. In Alabama, we have some barbecue sauce that you're gonna love. And Sheila whipped us up some down there. Yes. Got some chicken ready for us to make these delicious Alabama chicken sliders that you are gonna absolutely Alabama. love. Alabama. That's right. And so we are gonna show you how this is done. So we're gonna start with we pre-greased the crock pot with some olive oil spray. Right. Then we're adding five to six boneless skinless chicken thighs here. Yeah, I like to use the chicken thighs. They're a lot. They stay moist, you know. They do. As opposed, to, I mean, you could do the chicken breast if you want, but they dry out quicker. Yeah, they do. So we're gonna place these in. Get all those in there. <laughs> They're slick she, too. They're slick and she's gonna make them look pretty. <laughs> she's gonna lay them in there just perfect so they right. all fit on the bottom. <laughs> right. A fourth cup of water. Okay. And then we have four tablespoons of salted butter. Okay, melted. Melted and, yeah. And then one teaspoon of granulated chicken bouillon. And that's gonna add even more chicken flavor. Mm -hmm. And now, one teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of black pepper, teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of onion powder. Mix that up, and then we'll sprinkle that on. Mm. Okay. And one tablespoon of W, w sauce. sauce. Yes. Yay, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. And then, one teaspoon of liquid smoke. Okay. Now we just put the lid on. Cover it and cook it. So we cooked it on high for about four hours. So depending on how your crock pot cooks, you just want to make sure that internal temperature of the chicken reaches 165 degrees. And about 30 minutes before it's done cooking, I've got these onions sliced into rings. Onion rings. Onion rings. And they'll soften up for about 30 minutes. And in the meantime, Sheila's gonna make some sauce. Yes. Alabama barbecue sauce. Okay, so in this bowl we've got two and a half cups of mayonnaise, mm -hmm. one cup of white vinegar, okay, half a cup of apple juice, one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of black pepper, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, two teaspoons of lemon juice, and two teaspoons of horseradish, and a fourth cup of sugar. Okay. And you could use brown sugar or just granulated sugar, right? Right. Okay. So then when those onions are softened, we're going to take them out and set them aside. Then we're going to take the chicken thighs out of the juice. And then we're going to shred it. Just with some forks. Yeah, with two forks and just shred it. Okay. And then you can pour some of that juice on top to keep it moist, right? Right. Until we're ready to make the, the sliders or yes. the chicken sandwich or whatever you're going to make with it. I put juice on it so I could bring it up here so it keep it moist. So first thing we did is we got some just potato rolls. These are, these are the small slider rolls. And we got some butter on them and some garlic salt. And we're going to put these in the in the broiler so they get nice and golden brown because Sheila loves the golden brown tops. I love tops like that. <laughs> I love them. Well, golden brown. And you guys always did this when you did your recipes. All the time. We, we did this right here like years ago. And I thought this would be a good one to do for ball games and things. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put this in the broiler right now. We had these broiling for about four minutes and they were already toasty on it. Yeah, they're already toasted on the edges. It looks really good, doesn't it? It does. So we got our baking dish pre-greased and we got our bottom halves in the nine by 13 dish and right. we're gonna put some pickles on the bottom. Just a couple on each of them. Yeah, just pick your pick them up with your fingers. I know, you? it's a lot easier. <laughs> I wash my hands. That's right. Yes. And another one right here. All right. So then we're going to take our shredded chicken that she pre-cooked in that crock pot, and we're just going to place it on each one of these. And we took some of that juice from the crock pot, too, and put it on there so that the chicken wouldn't dry out. So you can see a little bit about it in the, whoops, in there. I didn't say it was going to be a meat sandwich. I just said it was going to be good. Oh, meat's never good. <laughs> Messy is good. Messy is delicious. Such a good thing for ball games or mm -hmm. family gatherings or something. 
or if you just don't know about coming over and you want to just shut the door and make it yourself. And That's eat it right. Yourself. Don't need to share these sliders with anybody, do we? No. <laughs> Be They're great. all ours. It'd be great for lunch the next day. Mm -hmm. All right. Then we've got some of these softened onions. Yes. Uh, and we're going to put a couple on each one. There's a lot of good recipes comes out of Alabama. That's right. I'm just moving some around here. so they. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Spread the love around. Damn, I'm fixing it a little bit. There it is. All right. One more. I hand me that delicious sauce you made. Here we go. See, look, it's even in crimson red. Yes, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum. Delicious sauce that she made. We're just going to drizzle that right on top of each one of those. The Alabama white sauce. That is so good. And by toasting the bottom of those buns, that's really going to help it uh, not be too soggy so that you can pick them up. All right, I'll set that aside, and then we're going to take our buns, put them right on top. We got our oven preheated. Yes, to 350 degree. And we are going to take this and put that in the oven for about, what, 10 minutes? About 10 minutes. A minute or two before they're done, we're going to baste the top of these with some more melted butter. And then it'll go back in the oven for a minute or two, just until the tops get nice and golden brown, and then they'll be done. Look at this. Really? Oh my gosh, that smells so good. You're going to love this. Delicious. Mmm. I'll give you two. They're small. Oh, okay. They're I'll sliders. I'll take it. Slide it right Oops. on here. Pull that one apart. Mm -mm -mm. Slide it right on here. Mmm, look at that. Mm. Look, I'll take that. Okay. Oh. Mm. Okay, I'll get mine. Yes, so good. Can't wait for you to try this at your house. Oh, so good. And then let us know what you think about it. Look at that. Yes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at Delicious. it. Delicious. Yeah. Oh my gosh, would you look at this? This is good. This is really good. Yes. I think we should try it. Uh, oh, Alabama chicken slider. Awesome. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. That is so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm dropping onions. Delicious, guys. Mm. You are going to love this recipe. I promise you need so to make good. the sauce and make these chicken sliders. Mm. Or make a chicken sandwich, but this is great. Mm. This is great. I would take this anytime to a party. Delicious. Or game. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Or I said lock the door and stay in, eat all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Just save them for yourself. <laughs> Love it. Delicious. Mm. You guys got to try it. It's good. As Steve would say, are these the best Alabama chicken sliders you've ever tried? Yeah, if they yeah. ain't, they yeah. ought to be. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Oh, I'm going to have some more. Mom, you got to try this. Yeah, this is a wrap. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, that's she, she, and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, then you're subscribed. Next to it, it'll be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time, right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.